Hello beautiful people and welcome back to the Imperial Balloons channel where we strive to make you feel like royalty during all your special occasions. So today I'm going to be going over how I attach my neon signs to my fabric backdrop covers. I got this question a lot on TikTok so I thought might as well just do it on YouTube as well. So the first thing that you're going to need is some fishing line. Of course fishing line is the best option because you won't see it as much. And then you're also going to use some safety pins because we are using a fabric backdrop cover. Now what I like to do is I'm going to thread my fishing line through the safety pin and then I'm going to tie at least three knots into my fishing line. I would advise a minimum of three because fishing line can slip out very easily and you do not want that to happen at your event. So at least triple tie and maybe even tie a fourth or a fifth knot in there as well. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pin the safety pins into the back of my backdrop as you can see me doing right here. You don't have to worry about the spacing too much because you can always go back and change it if your neon sign is not hanging the way that you want it to. And then we're going to turn the backdrop around and then we're going to take the other ends of the fishing line and tie that to the neon sign. Now you can kind of gauge where you want your neon sign to lay and then try to make a knot at that position but if you mess up like I'm about to do here in a second it doesn't matter because again you can go in the back and change the positioning of the neon sign that way. So mine turned out a little bit lower than I wanted it to but I'm just going to continue into making those three knots into the fishing line to make sure that it doesn't slip out and then I'm going to do that for the other side as well. If you're interested in this neon sign, it is linked in my bio as well as other products that I use in this video. Now that your sign is attached, you can remove the access fishing line and then you can pretty much just go on to having your sign aligned the way that you want it. So I wanted mine a little bit higher. So I just went in the back and adjusted the safety pins as you can see me doing here until I was happy with the placement. And then I'm going to take the cord and put it through a safety pin in the back of the frame so that it's more neat at the front. And that is it you guys. So that is the way that I like to hang my neon signs. Let me know if you guys have any questions about this method. And you can find me on all social media platforms at imperialballoons.ac. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next one.